Source code for this application is attached in Lesson 2 of this Java course. We have mixed code HTML and JavaScript. This is an HTML comment. Remember these special tags at the beginning, four characters, and ending, three characters, of the comments. The HTML tag defines the beginning of an HTML program. It has a head and a body section. The head tag defines the meta information of an HTML program. The style tag is one of the meta informations that a head area contains. This style definition defines a class type named MyCanvas with one pixel thin gray border. Do not forget to mark the ending of the various HTML tag areas using this special convention equals a slash and the tag name. Head area ends here, and then we start the body area. Body area contains the programming code that will generate the web page. Canvas is the area where we will draw everything. We define the size of our canvas as 800 asterisk 800 pixels. Switch comment style as we are now inside JavaScript area, notice the script tag. Browsers will parse this page with HTML and JavaScript code and will generate a web page. We need HTML code to define placeholders and styles and JavaScript to dynamically compute new page elements and content. Get the canvas object from the HTML main document. Get the graphic engine of the canvas. Draw a line between two points defined by the first four parameters. Set the color of the stroke used to draw the line. Set the width of the stroke. Starts a new path by emptying the list of subpaths. Move the context to the starting point without drawing anything. Move the context to the ending point and draw the line between the two points. Execute the stroking process defined by the previous line to function. Draw a circle defined by its center coordinates, radius, color and line width. The color used to draw the circle. Set the width of the stroke. Starts a new path by emptying the list of subpaths. The circle is drawn around the center located at start underscore x and start underscore y using radius. The path starts at start angle, ends at end angle, the last two parameters, and travels clockwise. Execute the stroking process defined by the previous arc function. Draw a filled circle defined by its center coordinates, radius and color. Choose the color that will fill the circle. Starts a new path by emptying the list of subpaths. The circle is drawn around the center located at start underscore x and start underscore y using radius. The path starts at start angle, ends at end angle, the last two parameters, and travels clockwise. Execute the filling process defined by the previous arc function. We start to test the functions that we defined in this file by drawing an empty red circle. Then we fill the circle with yellow color. We draw an empty blue circle with pencil with 3. Then we fill the circle with red color. We test the draw line procedure by painting an aquamarine line with pencil width 8. Then we draw a blue line with pencil width 4. And a pink line with pencil width 4. On top of the lines we paint another yellow circle with pencil width 10. Then we fill the circle with green color. Show some information about the drawing process in the browser console. We are out of JavaScript at this point and back into HTML. Do not forget to close all the HTML tags that you opened. 
If you have questions, please send them to software at videndi.com. Source code for this application is attached in Lesson 2 of this Java course.